Hi everyone, this is Carrie over at DoubleClick. Today I thought I would share a video going through my spring and Easter supplies. Um, I, right now they're kind of in an iris container with some stuff spilling over and I did pull some stuff from my stash. So I just want to quickly go through it to see what I have and then later I'll reorganize it into my units that are on my craft island. And then I, you know, will be able to see if I really need to buy anything this year. I don't, I don't think I do. I don't ever need to buy anything, but um, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I did was I went through my paper because I don't think I have any paper like specific to Easter in here. So I pulled out some really old papers, but they're really nice pastels. They coordinate with each other. And I thought these would be a, a good way to start making some of my embellishments. So I pulled these two. And then I also pulled this stack from um, Martha Stewart. And it's just, it's double-sided. It has really soft pastel colors. And there's some glitter and some vellum sheets inside of this. So um, these are the papers that I'm gonna primarily be using for my projects. Um, now, I know last year I was able to score a bunch of things on clearance, so there's probably some duplicated items, which I will be pulling out the duplicated items and just packing them back up so I don't keep um, like re-going through my stash over and over with the same items. So um, I do know that I got these 90% off last year at Hobby Lobby. They were like 39 cents, and they're just little chicks that um, I can add into my Happy Mail. And the same, I don't remember how much these wooden chips were, but um, I know they were really inexpensive. They are a little heavy and they're kind of thick. I would like to try and come up with some way to use them. I'm sure I'll share some of them. So um, I have these out in my stash. And uh, from my existing stash, I went and I pulled these tags because they just have that pastel and the glitter that I like to use. So um, I'm gonna use these and let's see, we'll pull this stuff. This is just a, um, a doily die um, to help kickstart some embellishment making. This Jelly Bean Soup stamp set, which is just, you know, really cute. This Dossarella, what is it? Uh, Chick's Rule Easter set. And I pulled this bunny um, from this set. I'd have to fussy cut it because my uh, cameo's not set up, so I'm not sure if I'll if I'll actually use that because I really don't like to fussy cut. And then I pulled this one because of this cute little Easter stamp. And sorry if you see the lights changing. I'm in my office and it's actually cloudy here in Arizona, so um, <laughs> like getting really cloudy and then really sunny. So sorry about that. This is an egg stamp from So Susie Stamps. And I have a couple of miscellaneous dies from I don't even know where. This is a little um, a little bunny. He's kind of like when you look down on him. And this stitched Peeps one that I got. I don't even remember where I got this one from. And this little bunny, which I actually cut him today. He was way smaller than I thought he would be, but still super cute right there. So these will end up in some happy mail. I have this um, bunny set, which I haven't cut yet. So I am going to pull these all apart and see what this looks like at some point. This cute Easter banner. And I have this Easter set with a matching die. And then I just have some silhouette bunnies um, inside. So we have those. And I think this set was from last year. I think I got these on clearance from the Target spot, or it may have even been the year before. I don't remember. Um, this set I feel like is a little dark for what I'm going for, but I do like that green. So we'll see if I um, incorporate these or just pass some of them along in, in some happy mail. And I pulled this from my stash because it has some of the colors that... Um, I want to use for layering and I like that it has craft because I have a lot of craft card stock and I would like to incorporate that into my projects. Okay, so moving along, I see three of these little wooden egg um, 
things, wood, wood stickers. So I'm going to take away two of them and use this one for Happy Mail. Some cute felt stickers, an egg, looks like a little girl, and maybe someone holding a carrot. So those are some cute stickers. Some glittered foam ones. These are bunnies. And I'll probably I will take these all out of this big bulky packaging. So sorry for the glare. We have some stickers here. And like I said, I, I know I bought all this stuff on clearance. I would never just go out and buy this kind of stuff. We have some carrot stickers, some paper straws. This I think I picked up recently from Tuesday morning. It was like 60% off. And all of the sticky nifts has come off and they've come out of their packaging, but they're all Easter, um, you know, wood chips or um, whatever they're called, chipboard things, stickers. So I'll open this and sort them out later. We have some chicky wood things, cute, puffy stickers. These look like Walmart. I may have actually just purchased these because, I mean, I do like to add some new stuff to my stash, uh, but I don't remember. We have some ribbon, just Easter and spring ribbons, and this little um, chick ribbon. That's cute. These I purchased online, and these are really cute. These are just some um, resin bunnies, and they are adorable, of course. So cute. So I'll be sharing some of those in my happy mail. We have some um, trim. It's like sticker of little bunnies. Cute. And some confetti. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby on clearance last year too. Very cute. Everything's cute, right? It's Easter. And then we have washi tape and this was washi tape that um, it was impossible to find at Target um, when they first started carrying this kind of stuff and I was able to find one package so of course I picked it up and I just I keep it in this in this bin because um, it's pretty much only Easter and then I have a couple of these little Easter eggs I don't know I have a love-hate relationship with washi because I just find it never sticks so I, I find it very annoying. Um, here we have some really cute glitter, let's see, glitter carrots ribbon. That's, that's fun. And then this looks like, is this a duplicate? No, it's not. It's just a different color. So little, I think those are jelly beans. We have some fuzzy peep bunnies with some eggs. These were from the Target One spot a couple years ago. The little um, puffy bunnies. Adorable. So cute. This is just a card that was Easter that I stuck in there. Some bag toppers. And I have the bags in a separate drawer, so I'll have to remember to pull them out when I like set everything up. Some silhouettes of a bunny. Stickers. These are so old. Is there a year on here? Let's see. There's not, I'm surprised. I wish they these companies would put a year on here so we could see how old this stuff is. These are old though. <laughs> um, okay, so I have some stamp sets. This is Stampin' Up, um, a good egg. And then I think I added some like miscellaneous like cute Easter stamps that I had. What is this one? A oh, little egg um, in my stash to this to this so um, this is just an Easter wooden stamps and then a couple of other wooden ones springtime and happy Easter this I purchased oh, I think I got this on Hobby Lobby when it went on clearance the last clearance sale that they had super cute bunny but I don't like to fussy cuts so I don't know if I'll use that this is an April showers this is um, here comes Peter Cottontail I think that's so cute and then this super old, I think these were like from the 90s, um, have a candy egg Easter and a jelly bean spring. That's super fun. And then these from Joann's a couple of years ago, they're just Easter tags. 
and we have a couple of miscellaneous sticker sheets that I've collected over the seasons. Some of these. Okay, what else is in here? Some wooden eggs. This is, okay, doodads for spring. Is there a year on this one? Doesn't say. I could tell you this is old though. <laughs> ah, crab smart. That's funny. Okay. So, okay. We are memory keepers. Cottontails. I think this is like probably one of the only kind of Easter things that I have. And it, I've used it because there's only a couple sheets left in there. But it's cute. So we'll keep that out. And this is what? A Ziploc bag of miscellaneous items. So we have some chipboard tags. Some recollections, adhesive shapes that are like eggs, some cut aparts, more stickers. These are um, Easter egg eyelets, uh, more chipboard, a couple of stickers, um, some Easter egg ribbon. So I'll, or, I'll sort this all neatly in my um, little organizers on my desk. And it looks like we have some more little carrot ribbon and it looks like I have two rolls in there. And these are, I think these are from two years ago. This is like a little Easter pocket. Um, there was like the Easter bunny and then there were some Easter eggs. I just stuck them in the same bag for space. And I have this big stack of Easter envelopes. So I probably will make one of my pen pals an Easter flip book. Um, yeah, an Easter envelope flip book. That way I can use up some of these envelopes because I have a nice stack of those. And these are some more Easter envelopes. Put them on the side. We have stickers, which I use some of those. That's good. Some Easter type paper, more stickers. These are some chipboard pieces. And I've used, looks like I have used some of these, which is good. Look at how cute that one is. Adorable. Okay, we'll move that to the side. Okay, here's some more stamps back here. Happy Easter to one of my favorite peeps. That's cute. And then just some Easter egg stamps. Some pinwheels. I don't know why these are in here. Um, maybe, oh, maybe because like they went with this set. So here's some more of those Easter tags some more puffy bunnies, more stamps. <sighs> I don't really use these little stamps. Well, I might use this one because I could stamp it and then punch it out with a, a punch. Um, some more stickers. Um, these I know I got on clearance it's probably two years ago now. Just these cute phrases. More envelopes. Uh, and these are bigger. <laughs> I don't even know how I got those. They're cute, but hmm. Okay, so this I think someone gifted me in some happy mail. Let's see. Yeah, these are um, little sequin chickies and eggs. Very sweet. Uh, someone sent me a stamped image. Uh, more tags. More stickers more stickers and I guess I do have some Easter paper I'm surprised let's see so these are really sweet really sweet bunnies and eggs oh my goodness okay I know that these are so old oh wait here's some more stickers does this have a year on it uh, oh, it's no year Look at how fun that is. I have a couple of those. Um, some peeps. These are really brightly colored. So I got that at Hobby Lobby. I think it was in like a, a kit or like a, a miscellaneous stack of papers. Um, I have some spring more chipboard down there. Um, yeah, I don't know why I have so many of the same papers. That's cute. These are like fuzzy bunnies. Some cute chicks. This is some old paper right there. <laughs> uh, this doesn't actually have a St. Patrick's Day box, so I'm going to pull that out. That doesn't belong in there. Some, 
So more Easter, Easter, May. This really doesn't belong in here either. I would never look for Mother's Day stuff in there. And some miscellaneous other papers. These don't belong. Okay. So I think, oh wait, one other thing that I want to show is what I have picked up this year to add to my existing stash. Um, let's see. So Hobby Lobby's clearance. I ended up picking up some of these cute sheep buttons and I just like break the button off and glue them back together because I don't like how far they stick out. Then these Easter um, bunny buttons and these just these wedding favor bags because I like this color for Easter and um, like $1.49 so I can use that for my Happy Mail. And the one thing that I purchased brand new, 40% off, were these Easter Bunny stickers. And I mean, they're all the same, which is kind of a bummer, but I knew if I didn't buy them immediately, they would be gone and I would never get them. So I wanted to have those in my stash. So that is it. That is my Easter stash for 2019. Once again, I'll show these cute little bunnies because I actually crafted for a few minutes today and they're super cute. So I hope you guys will join me for my next video. I would love to see your Easter stash. I'm going to try and make embellishments this year to build up some of my stash. So when I want to make a project, I have stuff pre-made and I'm also going to be doing two swaps, hopefully so we can exchange some of our goodies. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you all have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.